Greetings and salutations, friends of Jiggly, my Jiggly Samurai, my Purple Ninjas. How are you out there in the real world today? I was at a uh, flea market. I love flea markets. You can always find really cool stuff at flea markets, and I found some really cool stuff. Check these out. If I can get them on the table without breaking them. That's why this is the air go. Let's take a look what we got here. These are five dollars a piece. I currently have done zero research as to their time, but based on this button, I'm gonna guess that this Martin here is probably from the 50s. The uh, that just yells 50s to my face. Uh, it currently does not function. I, ca I cannot crank it. But I'm going to tear this bad boy apart. I'm going to clean it. I'm going to lube it. I'm going to put a new line on it. And I'm betting that I can take it out fishing later. And that's the plan. I'm going to set that one there gingerly. Now this one here, I also got, which was also $5. I need more workspace. This is a Fluger. Again, I don't know when it was made, but it's old and dirty and gross. I've never actually used one like this before, so it's going to be fun. Um, still has, you know, centuries old braided line on them. On the original poles, as near as I can tell, with as disgusting as they are. So, uh, that's what we're doing. We're going to start with the uh, the Martin there, and I'm going to do my best to open it up and see what makes it tick and uh, make it work. Then we're going to do this one. Okay, I'll be back. Now, I'm imagining the best bet, since I keep whacking this rod into stuff, is to take this off the rod. This ought to be the right tool for that job. Alright, now that I've taken it off the rod, let's see if I can get that where you guys can see that. It's a Martin Miracle Matic 500 made in USA. And that's beautiful right there. I love seeing that. Um, it looks like disassembly is pretty straightforward. Screw there, screw here, and screw here. So I'm going to get started on that. You guys can uh, fast forward through the boring parts. You know, I thought that all these uh, screws, since their heads are kind of rusty, would be just corroded and nasty and not come out. But so far, so good. Now, I always recommend uh, having like a paper towel or something to put your pieces on when you take them out, which is what I'm doing over here. And I put them down in a very specific order that they come off in so that uh, it makes assembly easier. All right. This is the moment of truth right here, people. It wiggles. It wiggles. It wiggles. It's off. Ew. That is nasty. But the inside of that reel looks pretty good. Okay. All right. The fan blew my paper towel. I've got my parts on. We're going to put the cap right there with the rest of those parts. And now we're going to see if we can't get this out of the housing. it looks like the reel has to 
the crank has to come off. Huh. It has anti-reverse. Let me show you that. Let me see if I can get this where you guys can see it. On and off for anti-reverse. Okay. Oh, that's all the further it goes. Why doesn't it go any further? It should it should go further, but it doesn't. Well now that I've got that loosened up, it moves. Gotta believe that that comes out. I gotta believe that that comes out. Hmm. Well, that's gotta come out. How else do you get under it? All right, I'm gonna tinker with this a little bit and see if I can figure out how to get underneath because it looks like it should just pull right out, but this is blocking it. So hang on for me, I'll be back. All right, what I've decided to do is to go ahead and try to disassemble it top down. So, cap. Oh, the infamous C-clamps. Not a fan of C-clamps, but those really only come off one way. You pry them off. This reel looks really clean inside. No rust that I've been able to find. Fuck you, bastard. There we go. C-clamp is out. The rest of this just should pull out. Okay. Might be on to something here. This, of course, is where your line goes. This doesn't look like it holds much line. But anyway. That's where the line goes. Boy, that line is crunchy. Okay. Well, I just ain't got a clue how that comes out of there. I thought it would be here. It's not. That's the anti-reverse off and on, which does work. Right now the anti-reverse is set to on, which is why I can crank it this way, but not this way. The button obviously works because that rises. But I have to be able to get in there and lubricate that. Turning that does nothing but make noise. Oh, there's a tiny screw in there. I need to hunt for a small screwdriver. I will be back. That little screw direct, that little screw down there seems to be the ticket. I found a small enough screwdriver. Let's back it out. Maybe. Maybe I did. There it goes. Let's see. That did the trick. See what I'm thinking is without that screw in, in the way, that should just fall right off. Victory! Okay. So. I get from this to pulling out the mechanism. I gotta pull out the mechanism, man. Oh, give me a minute to tinker, I'll be back. 
All right, there doesn't seem to be a trick after all. It's just about how you wiggle. So I wiggled and I wiggled some more and I wiggled and I wiggled and I wiggled and eventually I got it to come out. So then I put it back together so that I can show you guys how I wiggled and wiggled and got it apart. I'm excited because everything on this, save the button, is metal. No plastic gears, no plastic guts. That's the only plastic piece on the whole shebang. So anyway, let's take a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, in its current state, as you can see, it does not crank. But I'm figuring, after I lube the dickens out of it and get the spider web out the way, get that cleaned up a little bit, we're going to make some magic happen. You know what that little piece does. Doesn't seem to do anything. It's there for a reason. Cool, cool. Looks a little bent, if I'm honest. There we go, that's how it should be. Where's your problem? Cool. So anyway, let's get to cleaning. Basic you know, blue shop paper towel, nothing special. A little bit of warm soapy water, nothing special. And you know, other than the occasional spider web where this has sat for who knows how long, I've not really seen any real dirt and grime in here. It makes me think that it was pretty clean when it was put away. And that ought to be about enough on the cleaning. So this part in a line. Lube. Lube. I love lube. For those of you playing the home game, that is basic petroleum jelly. I know some of you are cringing at home right now. You have to use special real lubricant, which, you know, of course you do. But petroleum jelly is not water soluble because it's a petroleum product. And I don't imagine that I'm going to take this thing out every day. Matter of fact, after I fish with it the one time to complete the video, hopefully catch something, it's probably going to go up on my wall and I'll never use it again. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm just using, a, you know, regular old dish soap and a bowl of hot water over here. Nothing special. At all. I don't want to use any kind of harsh chemicals on this because it's old, as we've already established. And I don't want to do anything that might damage the finish. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean everything. You guys don't need to watch me do that. I'm sure you guys can figure what, what to do on that. And uh, we're going to put it back together. So I'll see you shortly. This is the way we clean the hole, clean the hole, clean the hole. This is the way we clean the hole early in the morning. It's all clean, Captain. Much better than it was, anyway. So we're ready to reassemble, but I've noticed a slight design flaw. See, I'm going to put a new line on it, and on a modern reel, There's a window so that you can look inside and see how much line you have on. Which makes adding line easier. 
no such window on this bad boy. So, got to kind of play that one by ear. But anyway, we're going to reassemble this real quick. Well, not real quick, obviously. Yeah, just like that. And uh, I guess when I go to put line on it, I'm going to have to stop every once in a while, take the lid off, and uh, see what our progress is. Our old friend, the sea clamp. Should put back on much the same way you get it off, just in reverse. Instead of pushing it outwards with the screwdriver, you push it inward. And I hope you don't stab yourself. Or do something like that and break the damn thing. I think I just broke it. I think I just broke the reel. Something didn't didn't like that. Okay, we're good. Nope, we are not good. That is crooked. That's crooked, my man. Like a used car car salesman turned politician. That was crooked. All right. Um. Let's try this again. Let's put the handle back together before I do anything else. So let's let's do it that way. Yeah, I think that's going to be our best bet. Putting that handle back together. Okay, dokie. So if we look at the order in which my parts are sitting here, we got this doodaddy. It goes on like that. And then it should line up with something and then go in like that. Ta-da! Alright, so we got that part on. Then this flapper dude went on over top of that, like so. Why aren't you going back on? Alright, cool, 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 cool. And then this itty bitty screw that I had a devil of a time getting out goes right there. is a miss because it still doesn't reel right. Interesting. It at least turns now. Further experimentation is required. Okay. I feel like an idiot. I couldn't get it to crank because I assembled it in the wrong order. All that talk about making sure you put all your uh, PC parts on your table in the order that they came off on and blah 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 blah. Uh, I did not listen to my own advice. I did not do that. Which is why I didn't reel. I figured that out. I'll show you what I did wrong. There are two washers that are apparently supposed to go inside 
of that, when I put it together, I put them together on top. I figured it out with a little bit of tankering, and uh, everything's right as rain. So I'm going to continue to put this back together. We're going to slap some more lube in it since I cleaned off a lot to look because I thought something was broke or out of place. Yeah. Looby looby lube. Cool, cool. button out the way there. But apparently, when I put those two uh, pieces on my table, I did not put them in the right order. But doop. Anyway, that goes like that, and then that over top. And then I turn that crank, and why well, look, George, it's a cranking. So uh, let me put this the rest of the way back together here, and. Uh, isn't that beautiful? Such a maroon. Back to the dreaded C clamp. I hate C clamps. I really do. I understand their their purpose and function and all that, but I, I hate them. I hate them a lot. They're the most difficult part of assembling any reel. So I'm gonna mess with this hopefully not stab myself and I'll be back all right pain in the ass C clamp is on I mentioned I hate C clamps I think I've said that a few times all right like that and then this on top I put that part on backwards. That's not like me. Alright, come on, click in. Cool. And that is the finished product right there. My battery's low. It's about to die. So, um, I'm going to stop here. I forgot you guys were still there. As soon as I can figure out a way I can hold this. We're going to put some line on it. I mentioned before how it doesn't have a window into the reel to see how much line I've got on it. So I held off putting in the last couple screws so I could pop the cap off real easy. Let's see what we're at. Not even close. Something tells me I shouldn't have done that. Huh? 
Oh, I cut the line in the thingy. Durka. Let's not do that again, shall we? There we go. Okay. So anyway, um, this is the boring part of the operation. But basically, I'm going to keep putting line on it until I run out of room. And uh, then I guess I'm done. Because everything else, I mean, it's working fine. Look at this. It's beautiful. I can tell it's old. See, there's a, way, uh, there's a difference in the way that an old reel feels because of the metal gears that I mentioned before. It's more... What are you doing, dog? Uh-huh. Busted. It's a uh, more, uh... I hate to use the word mechanical, but that's what comes to mind. Because it's metal on metal on metal on metal. There's no plastic in there to buffer anything. So it's, you know, straight gears. But it's working beautifully. Anyway. about do. That looks pretty good by my eyes. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it done. And I'm going to clean the rod. And uh, we're going to find some place to use it as soon as I get a free time to do so. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I guess I could film me cleaning the rod if you want. We'll see. Well, this is the rod it came on. Um, it's pretty gross. Uh, I'm going to clean it up now. Oh, hey, it looks like there's writing on it. Anyway, this is going to take a while, because it's really nasty. So, uh, how about if I just uh, tune back in to show you the finished product? Yeah, that's going to take forever. Hang on, I'll be back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. After a half hour of intense scrubbing, the side I ain't scrubbed yet. This thing is nasty. Um, anyway... Uh, I'll show you when it's all done. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it all pretty like that. Yeah, hopefully. All right. So far, so good. And I've started on this one here. I haven't got to this side yet. And then. Uh, should be pretty smooth sailing from there. Uh, I'm gonna get back to work on that. My uh, arm is getting kind of tired. Y'all ready? Sorry, I got a little dry. Are you guys ready? Are you sure? Can you guys handle this much awesome all at once? That's the question. It is as clean as I can get it. We'll start with the tip. Oh yeah. Check that out.
Now I did find one thing that I cannot fix, that I don't actually need to, but where if this was a, a two-piece rod 70 years ago or however old it is, and they do not come apart anymore. Um, short of putting tools on it and prying, which I'm not going to do, um, that's good as it's going to get. But I cleaned them up best I could, uh, well lubricated everything. All the eyes are good. It's just really nice. So I'm hoping to get to use it within the next day or so. I'm really happy with the way this all turned out. Um, and that's how I'm going to end the video, is me using it and hopefully catching something. Um, that'd be a great way to end it, I think. But uh, I've been out here for hours. I'm filthy. I stank. Covered in lube and not in the good way. And uh, I think that's it for tonight. Um, before I pass out from sheer exhaustion tonight, I'm going to see what I can find out about the reel. The rod has absolutely no maker's marks or anything like that on it. So I don't know who made it. I don't know how old it is. I don't know doodly about it. Hopefully it's what originally came with the thing in the first place, but who knows, right? We'll see. Bye for now, guys.